ladies, this is probably my first video from my bathroom, but I had to come on and show you two awesome new products that Lola Rose has. And the first one is the super soft, luxurious bamboo hair towel. As I said, it's soft, it's very lightweight, um, and it doesn't damage your hair when you dry your hair. So this is gonna cut your drying time in half, probably, because it's so lightweight and the bamboo is super absorbent. It absorbs the water much more quick, quickly out of your hair. And also, just the inherent um, natural properties of the bamboo, it prevents the growth of mildew and bacteria and things that make your towels stinky. So if you use a cotton towel normally that's thick on your hair, not only it, it may damage it because it's kind of heavy, um, but it you know the the it takes a while to dry and it can you know start stinking after a while um because it doesn't dry so quickly but the bamboo hair towel dries super quickly so it dries your hair fast plus it dries fast so that it stays clean and healthy for your hair so i think you're going to love this and this also helps you know bring out some natural curl in your hair and i'm going to show you how to do that especially if you use it in conjunction with our new sea salt spray so for those of you who don't know how to use a hair wrap a hair turban um i'm going to show you how to do that i've already had it up a little bit say so when you get out of the shower all right you just kind of turn upside down i usually comb my hair out with a pick upside down i don't know if you can see this okay so you just flip your head over Comb it out, okay. You take the button side, the button side goes in the back of your head and then all your hair goes in the turban, okay. And then you just twist, twist the hair. I hope you get a good <laughs> view of this. Now you can see this little um, loop at the end, all right. And this is where you just pull that back and then at the back of your hair wrap there's a little button that you can just secure that okay so now it's up there nice and secure it's as i said it's really lightweight so it's comfortable so now your morning can go much more quickly you can go, go put your makeup on so i'm going to go put my makeup on and i will be back and then i'll take my hair down and show you how to use the sea salt spray for some awesome beachy waves all right see you in a couple okay i'm back i put my makeup on it's been about i don't know 10 or 15 minutes and i've had my hair up in this wrap this whole time so i'm gonna take it down and see how dry it is my hair is pretty thick and it normally takes quite a while to dry so of course it's still damp okay all right now let's check it out what we got here okay now after you take it down you'll want to you know just finger it through now my hair is um, slightly wavy so with the sea salt spray I can use it to bring out the curls without have what I normally use when when I wear my hair down is spray gel i put spray gel on it and then i'll scrunch it up but the thing with spray gel, spray gel is it tends to make my scalp itchy and it also has like kind of like a little crunchy stiff feel to it especially if you put um use it with hairspray it's kind of crunchy and stiff and uh, it doesn't feel very natural right so the great thing about the sea salt spray is it it's soft but yet it adds that texture that beachy hair look, the kind of the curls, brings out the curls, that makes it um, shiny, because it has, also it has sea salt. The sea salt is naturally moisturizing and conditioning. And then the sea kelp extract um, is what makes your hair kind of shiny and moisturizes, and it just makes it healthier. Okay, it's good for your hair, and it doesn't have any alcohol or parabens in it, which of course you don't want in any of your uh, health and beauty products, right? Okay, so. You can do it two ways. You can either just, you know, scrunch your hair and let it dry naturally. Um, I'm not a big fan of blow drying because mainly I just don't have time for it. <laughs> That's why I usually just put my hair up in a flexi and don't do my hair at all. But if I have it down, I don't, I don't like to use a hair dryer. But if you use a blow dryer, you're welcome to do that. And if you've used the um, bamboo hair towel, that will cut your blow drying time down because now your hair is a lot drier than if you'd used a normal towel. Okay, and so that's going to be less damaging to your hair as well. The less blow drying, the, the better for your hair. 
Okay, so, so just use your fingers to, you know, bring it out and then you take, shake, shake it up. So make sure it's all the goodness is all mixed up in there. Okay. And then you'll just want to, you know, spray it around on your damp hair. And I can also do this on dry hair. I tried this the other day and it worked really well. Okay. So you spray it on and then you just start scrunching it up. Again, do this side. Kind of hard to see in this little phone thing. And I can't quite see the mirror because I didn't put my glasses or contacts in yet. Okay. Okay, so this is all you'd really need to do. You just spray it on, scrunch it, and let it dry the rest of the way. Or again, you can use a diffuser or something with your blow dryer and blow, blow dry it the rest of the way. Okay. So, I think I might come back on when it's dry and show you what it looks like when it's dry or how you can actually use the sea salt spray on dry hair if um, you need to just bring out and refresh in the curls a little bit. Um, it, as I said, it's much better than the spray gel I used to use that was sticky and um, yeah, it irritated my scalp. So I love the sea salt spray much better, especially in conjunction with the bamboo hair towel. Um, it's just much healthier um, for your hair. So I hope this helps and I'll probably be back with the last segment. All right, bye. All right, I'm back. My hair is now dry and you can kind of see that it still has the waves, um, but I prefer a little bit more definition to my waves. So I'm going to give it another once over with the sea salt spray to just freshen up the waves and then just give it one final little scrunch up it freshens up so this also shows you that you can put this on dry hair if your hair is already dry or if it's second day hair you just spray it on dry hair and just you know scrunch it up and it just freshens up those curls and gives you a little bit more volume and bounce and shine to your hair and it's just, it's just amazing. So this is what it is on, you know, fairly thick textured hair. Um, but people who have fine hair love it as well. I can't do you, uh, do a video for you for fine hair, but a lot of ladies with fine hair are loving it too, to give them more volume to their hair. Okay. So the other thing you might be wondering about is the scent, because if you're like me, I'm pretty sensitive to scents and I can't stand very strong scents, but I really like the scent of this rose water. It's a really fresh and clean type scent. It's not overbearing and um, even my husband commented on it that he liked it and he's pretty particular about the scents that I have on. So that is great to know as well and everything um, is just healthy and good for your hair. And it gives you those, that, that beachy wave look, which will be fun for summer when you just want those fun beach waves and some beach hair. So I hope this helps. Oh, one more tip I forgot to mention. Um, some ladies, if you want a little bit more curl, if you have naturally straight hair and want to get some curl, one way to do that with the sea salt spray is when it's damp, after you've washed it, spray it with the sea salt spray and then put it up in a flexi and like a French twist uh, for some loose waves or braid it, put it, you know, spray it and then put it in a braid um, for the day or overnight. And then when you take it out, voila, you've got some, some curl and waves in your hair. So some ladies are really enjoying doing that. And it's a little bit more definition, a little bit uh, better wave than if you just put it up wet with no sea salt spray. Um, it just really helps hold that curl. So that's a fun way to get curl if you don't have any. So I hope this helps. Please, you know, comment below if any questions you have. All right. Bye.